hi guys welcome back to my channel so guess who's back in mini twist oh my god i honestly cannot believe my hair is back in mini twist last time i did this i said i wasn't going to be doing this again anytime soon and that was two three years ago but anyways i'm back here so let's get into this video hi guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see my hair is in mini twist the last time i did mini twist like this was about two years ago and after I did it the last time, I said I wasn't going to do it again for a while because it took me a long time to twist my hair. I think it took me about three to four days last time I did it. But this time it really did not take me that long. Honestly, I, I didn't even realize when I ended up twisting my hair like this. You guys know I always count my twists. Last time I did 210. I have 168 now. So I've really been maintaining it. And last time I wasn't able to do maintenance content because I didn't keep the, the mini twist in for a long time. But I've had them in for a while now. So I'm going to be doing like videos showing you guys how I maintain it, different ways I style my mini twist. So if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified for when I upload my videos. And with that further ado, sit tight and let's jump straight into the video. So this is basically how my mini twist look most of the time. My hair is 4C so my hair shrinks a lot whenever I do mini twists but that's fine. I really don't mind the shrinkage and um, I'm just going to turn around so you guys will see what it looks like before I do like my braiding, my styling, my moisturizing, all of that. Most of the times I just put it like in a bun or I just wear it like this honestly. So to moisturize, I basically use my regular moisturizing products. You guys know I use Trilog stuff all the time. I have certain brands that I always use, either on Funky's Daughter, Trilog, Chemi Biologics. Like those are my go-to brands for moisturizing my hair. So I'm going to be using, um, I'm starting with a spray leave-in conditioner. You guys know how much I love spray leave-in conditioners. Normally, I would use my Uncle Funky's Daughter um, Thirsty Curl. But for some reason, I couldn't find it this day when I was moisturizing. So I just use one other one that I have that I usually like keep around. So I'm going to be spraying that in my hair first, um, just to really give my hair some hydration, let that soak in, try to see if there's any like little tangles or whatever I can take out. Then next, I take my Untie the Not Leaving Conditioner from Trilox and I apply that directly to my hair. I love this stuff. This is one of my favorite leaving conditioners. Moisturizing my hair when it's a mini twist is super easy. Like this is literally my moisturizing process. My liquid leave-in conditioner, then my regular cream leave-in conditioner. And sometimes I might add a butter or a, a thicker cream on top if I need to. But yeah, this is basically what I do. And I'm showing you guys my ends right now. They look frizzy, but I'm going to show you guys something that I've started doing um, recently. This time around when I have my mini twist in that have really helped me to keep my ends from getting frizzy. So they don't tangle or they don't break or they don't form single strand knots when I have my mini twist in. I didn't do it the last time when I had mini twists because obviously I didn't keep them in for a long time to even figure out to do that. But since I've kept my twist in for a while, I've been experimenting with different things. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I do to keep my ends intact. So I, like I said before, I spray my liquid leave in, then apply my cream leave in, massage, really massage that into my hair and then go ahead and twist the section. I'm going to do that all around my hair. This leave in makes my hair feel so soft. I, it feels incredible. Sometimes instead of using a liquid leave-in, I just go straight in for like a regular thicker moisturizer. Like I said, it just depends on what my hair is feeling that day and what I feel like doing. So I'm just going ahead and twisting up the last section. My hair is thoroughly moisturized. And I'm just going to leave it, leave everything to soak in for about 30 minutes to an hour before we come on to the second step. So as you can see, I've braided um, two sections. Now I'm taking down my twist. Right now my hair feels so soft and it's very, very moisturized and conditioned. So I'm taking my hair out from the twist and I'm going to start using mousse. I'm using this um, mousse, this Soothe and Restore mousse. Again, it's from Trilox and it's really, really nice. It gives you really nice hold without leaving like white particles in your hair or making your hair flaky or too oily or any of that. So as you can see, I'm really applying a generous amount. I'm really letting it soak in. And one thing I've noticed since I've been using mousse on my mini twists is that mousse really helps to 
um, reduce all the tangles in my hair. It helps to reduce any, you know, my hair is 4 so it's really, really kinky. And the strands are always trying to curl up on each other. But when I use mousse, it literally just smooths everything out. So my hair has less tangles. It also helps me to detangle my mini twists as well, especially at the ends. I'm going to come up close and show you guys what my ends look like now after applying the mousse. And it also helps me to prevent single strand knots or, um... What do you call this um or split ends because it just helps to keep everything smooth and intact so i'm coming up to show you guys my ends i showed you guys my ends before and they look really really frizzy but now as you can see my ends have more definition they're more intact so there's going to be less tangling and less breakage at my ends less single strand knots less split ends so if you if you do mini twists mousse mousse will go a long way for your hair so when I'm done applying my mousse and I make sure that it's properly uh, like soaked into my hair and my hair feels nice and smooth, my twists feel nice and smooth, I just go ahead and braid up the section. So um, I had six sections when I was done moisturizing. When I'm done braiding, I'm going to have 12. So I basically split each section into two braids. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that all over my head, apply my mousse, you know, really rake my mousse through my hair, let my hair actually really absorb the mousse, then detangle my ends or anywhere I need to detangle, make sure that everything is nice and smooth and just go ahead and braid. I really, really like this mousse. Um, Trilux actually just came out with the mousse recently because they didn't have a mousse in their line before. And I'm really glad they came out with the mousse because I like all their products. So I was really, really hoping they would come out with a mousse and a deep conditioner. And they finally did recently. So I was very excited about that. But anyways, I'm done braiding as you guys can see. And I braided those parts coming to the front because I wanted like some parts of my hair to fall to the front. I wanted like um, a side part. So I braided my hair in a side part. If you want a middle part, braid your hair in a middle part. And I'm just going to turn around so you guys can see my braids. And I'm going to let them dry and take them down when they're thoroughly dry. I actually ended up leaving them for two days because I was too lazy to take them out the next day. But this is two days later and I'm going to start taking out my braids. So as you can see, there is really nice definition in my hair. My mini twists are super defined up until the ends up until the ends guys you see that no freeziness anywhere i when i tell you i love this mousse oh god so i'm just gonna keep taking down all my braids and then fluff out my hair so i'm just fluffing 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 my mini twists my hair felt so soft. It felt really nice, soft, moisturized, um, amazing definition that really lasted me. No flakes or anything like that in my hair. I'm going to turn around so you guys will see my hair from different angles. This is one of my favorite hairstyles to do when I have mini twists. And it's super easy to do as well. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you do mini twists on your hair. Uh, let me know your hair type. Let me know how you like doing mini twists. And if you've never tried it, um, is it something that you consider doing? Let me know down below. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Like I said, I'm going to be um, doing videos on how I maintain my mini twist. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below or my face on this side. Also, don't forget to watch my other natural hair videos on this side. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!